Hi, it's Lisa Cuneo. Welcome to my scrapbook table. Today I am scrapping along with people for Stretch the Sketch. Here's what we're using. It's from Rochelle Spears. I am also using a little bit from my counterfeit kit that I created along with people at the Counterfeit Kit Challenge Facebook group. And I am documenting some photos from the rehearsal dinner. And so I chose this, well here's the sketch again. And I chose to create a 12 by 12 and a 6 by 12 that will um, be one continuous layout. In fact, I have them taped together at the moment so I can work on them as one single canvas. I'm going to use those stamps you saw there, though they're hard to see because they're clear. I picked them up at a sale. Um, this is Simple Vintage Spring Garden from Simple Stories. And I pulled out Sahara sand because all I wanted to do was to create a very subtle pattern on this pretty blue paper. And I don't have you watch all of this because it did take quite a while. Um, I used probably six different stamps and then I put down what I'm using for the frames from the sketch and then I decided I knew where I needed to add a little bit more stamping based on where those were going to go. And I used two wood grains, which I allow myself to pull into my counterfeit kit because I consider those just a neutral like black and white paper for me. And the stripe that you see there, the other side of it is that floral wood grain, which is in my counterfeit kit. I bought that at Joann's on clearance just a couple weeks ago. Um, if you watch the video that I used, like the cassette tapes and that sort of thing, it matched. It was part of that same set of papers. And there we go. So rehearsal dinner was at a casual barbecue place. And we were in Memphis. We had to have barbecue, right? And um, it was the wedding party and um, close family. So I think I have, I started out with six pictures, but I ended up only using five. And I had already matted them in, um, I think it's Stampin' Up! Very Vanilla. And then I am using some various patterns in pinks and dark bluish greens from that Simple Stories 6x8 paper pad so that everything is double matted. And there was no rhyme nor reason to what I matted them with. It was just random. And I'm fiddling around with these, deciding where I want them. And this is where I decided, what did I decide? Oh, I decided not to use that other paper. And I wanted this one to have a pink in the middle there. I also roughed up all the edges with my edge distressor. Then I used this little tag pattern thing and I actually realized later I used it wrong. <laughs> it's a really simple tool but I used it wrong. Um, I think I have it figured out now but it doesn't really matter because these tags are just layered to create some um, visual interest in the embellishment clusters. Um, I'm trying to use the very end of this Barely Arts glue and um, it's getting plugged up a lot. I might be at the point where I'm just going to toss it. There's not much left and I'm really having trouble getting it out. I ne realized I needed one more tag so I just cut some from one of those 6 by 8s and here we go. So I trimmed out this floral and I also used some dies from Hey Little Magpie to create these strips of paper. I think you'll be able to see them a little bit. They don't show up a lot in the end, but I do like the little bit that they add. They add some texture. I really like these. They come in a set of two and one is kind of almost like a notebook edge and then this torn edge and they work well for just adding a little bit of texture when you feel like you need something but you're not sure what. At least that's what they do for me. So I cut them out in three different pattern papers from that same collection and I'm just layering them 
along the edges of that um, flower wood grain paper. It's a really unique paper. I, I'm not, I wasn't sure how, if I would like it, but I ended up really liking that paper. In fact, I may run back to Joanne's tomorrow afternoon and um, grab a few more sheets if there are any left. I think they were marked down to 50 cents or 45 cents when I bought them. This layout, for some reason, took me a really long time. Um, I actually filmed it in probably four different sessions over a couple of days, which is why the video might seem a little bit discombobulated. Um, I'm not sure why I had trouble. I just did. It was a great sketch and really easy to stretch, but I struggled. So here I have these tucked under the edge. I needed to stretch it a bit because um, it wasn't quite long enough and I knew that most of it was going to get covered with the photos so I just snipped it there where I knew one photo would be covering the gap. So there we go. Um, the square photo in the middle of the page, um, that is Kayla's sister who flew in from the West Coast and Brian's best man, Chase. And Chase takes all the credit for the entire um, relationship and wedding because he and Kayla have been friends for a long time. And when Brian moved to Memphis and Chase um, rented from Brian to um, share the house that Brian had purchased, Chase had Kayla come over. And um, the rest is history, as they say. So Chase takes all the credit for this. And they both spoke that night a little bit. And it was really, it was sweet. The food was good. There was something for everybody. Um, there was pasta, there was prime rib, there, it was a buffet, all sorts of things. Um, lots of vegetables, good salads. So there was something to please everybody and we had a nice relaxing evening. And Kayla's sister got to meet their nephew for the first time. Since she lives pretty far away, she had not yet met him and so they, and Kayla had, had met him when he was a baby, but hadn't spent a lot of time with him. So they were enjoying passing around the baby. Who's two now? So then I made some little tag toppers. I had cut them out before, but then I decided how I wanted to layer them up. I created the little um, reinforcements for around the hole. And in a minute here, I'll realize I need another one, but that works out okay. I ended up with three pairs of tags. Two on the 12 by 12 and one on the 6 by 12. I also trimmed out from the paper the title, Celebrate Today. And I did waffle back and forth with where to put that quite a bit. For a little while I had it at the top and then I moved it and then I still think more about it. But it does end up right about where you see it now. Then I trimmed out a couple other flowers so there was a floral element to match on the other page. And also these tags are going to go there. And I like to make little tag toppers to tuck in because you use so little paper, but they, I think they give a nice impact. I did decide to back this title with fun foam. So I pull out some fun foam from my drawer. I don't have you watch me trim out all of it. It was a really awkward shape. So it took, it took me a little while to get that backed with the fun foam, but I'm glad I did that. Um, I think it helps it stand out a little more on the page. Since it, it's just trimmed out, it doesn't have a nice backing around it or anything because it wasn't a manufactured title. I just kind of trimmed it and turned it into one. 
so what am I doing now? Oh, I pulled out three word phrases or word stickers. One is just says, I love you more. One says together and one says tomorrow with an arrow. And I thought that was kind of appropriate because this page will actually go in our 2023 album. And then there will be probably just two layouts with family wedding photos and one portrait of Brian and Kayla. And so I thought that was kind of neat to have print an arrow for tomorrow because the tomorrow at this time was the big day. And I decided instead of adding string to the tags, because there's kind of a lot going on here, that I would just put some enamel dots in there. Well, I didn't have the right color enamel dots, but I did have these um, aqua blue, they almost look like clear plastic or acrylic. I guess it is acrylic plastic. I don't know. Anyway, they're clear and they look nice with the background paper. So that's what I end up putting in each of the six tag holes. Actually, I only did five because one of them is covered up. That is just about it. I do add journaling, but I don't have that. Um, I didn't film doing the journaling. I just cut some journaling strips and then glued those on, which you'll see some of that in the still shots, which will be here in just a moment. I'm really glad you joined me today. I appreciate you taking time to watch. If you're not a subscriber, I would love it if you would hit subscribe. I'm coming up on 500 subscribers, which is a big deal to me. I had no clue when I started that I would even get 50 subscribers. So I'd love it if you subscribe and hit like. Thanks so much for joining me, and I hope you get to create something soon. Goodbye.